Do we say Happy New Year or Good Riddance 2020? 2020 has definitely been a crazy one. I'm sure everyone's had their share of ups and downs, maybe more downs than ups. But we want to try to keep things positive. I mean, at Brickle Pickle, this is the year that got us started. This is the year that got us going. But we're definitely ready to let 2020 go and jump into 2021. So for us, let's take a look back at what we've been able to accomplish in 2020. Wow, a look back at 2020. Where do we begin? The beginning, of course. Welcome to the first ever episode for Brickle Pickle. I'm your host, James, here to give you an inside look behind the scenes for this crazy company, Brickle Pickle. Those early days were tough. I definitely didn't know what I was doing, and I'm pretty sure that showed. Let's take a look back at a montage of some of the mistakes that we've made, and we made plenty of them. How about this one, for example? Did you guys like it when I was zoomed in on my face and nothing but a blank white wall? We got plenty of those. This is supposed to be a look back at 2020, but the more I look back at some of these early videos, the more this is turning into a blooper reel. Look at this stuff. What was I thinking? I know I wanted to keep it authentic and real, but I mean, come on, I'm wearing gym clothes here. All right, we're starting to turn a corner a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't say these are high quality professional videos, but at least we got a tripod and that definitely shows. Finally, it looks like we took another big step forward. In addition to finally being able to create some pickles, we've been able to move into a new studio and give ourselves a much needed professional look. 2020 for Brickle Pickle has been about basically two sides of a different coin. I mean, on one hand, we've got our actual company, Brickle Pickle, where we're trying to create pickles. But then we're also trying to film all this and create a show that you guys actually want to watch. So it's been a tough, tough process for us. We've definitely had to overcome some hurdles and there's been a huge learning curve for us. And that's just the YouTube side of things. We haven't even started talking about pickles. I didn't even realize that you could make pickles at home. We're so used to buying pickles in the supermarket that it didn't even dawn on me until this whole COVID-19 thing happened to even try to make pickles. So guess what that means? That means I don't know anything about making pickles. So I had to figure all of that out. I didn't even know that there were different types of pickles. I had to figure out which pickles to use, what pickles or what cucumbers to use, which ones work best through the pickling process. I had to figure out the pickling process. I had to figure everything out. I was pretty meticulous through everything. I had to taste the vinegar, the brine, the spice. I mean, let's not forget this. Out of everything that I tried, that vinegar had to have been the oh, worst. Jeez, I don't want to do that again. And through it all, we were able to come up with a product, a product that we're pretty proud of. But we did learn some of the mistakes we made. If you look at this, for example, we found out real quickly that you're not supposed to boil the lids. That can cause problems with your ceiling and things like that. But at the time, we didn't know. Luckily, no one got hurt. Well, that's gonna end our walk through memory lane. I think we ended 2020 pretty strong. We started with nothing and now we have something. We have a viable product and that's gonna be our focus moving into 2021. We need to figure out how to take this product to market. So that's where we're gonna focus our goals. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned. Click the bell so you get notified every time we drop a new episode. You guys know the drill. We're gonna put the subscription button right over here and new episodes go right up there. My name is James saying see you on the next one.